Platelet-rich plasma is an injection that is done by taking a small sample of the patient's own blood, which is then spun down in the centrifuge to separate it and get a concentrate of platelets, a concentrate of platelets called platelet-rich plasma from the patient's own body, their own blood, which then using ideally ultrasound guidance, which is the only way I do it, is then injected into the particular area of concern. Um, Platelet-rich plasma is a uh, probably one of the areas in, in regenerative medicine that has the best evidence behind it presently. One major advantage to PRP over, let's say, a corticosteroid or cortisone injection, as it's referred to, is that PRP, in the case of tendon issues, can actually heal them. So this is uh, a case where the Concentrated platelets, when injected into the injured area, activates, releases growth factors. These growth factors can actually lead to healing of the tendon area. We have instance where cortisone shots in some of these cases actually makes the condition worse or can lead to higher rates of surgery or repetitive injections or further tendon tearing in, in a variety of negative things. So cortisone injections ideally ought to be reserved for truly bursitis or inflammation. If this is a muscle tendon injury, chronic issue, PRP is a far better choice for something like that from a medical standpoint. In the case of arthritis, for example, PRP can lead to a improvement in function, uh, shows some evidence that it slows down uh, progression towards further arthritis may slow down progression to need to have joint replacement. And on the other hand, we have studies to show that cortisone actually speeds up the progression of arthritis. So pretty, pretty definite differences there. Candidates for PRP treatment are um, everything from um, presently the highest evidence we have as far as, you know, putting it that way, what, what has the most evidence behind it. Um, would be patients with early to moderate knee arthritis, uh, followed by uh, patients with um, partial rotator cuff issues or you know, painful shoulder, um, patients with chronic tennis elbow, plantar fasciitis. Um, there's a, a variety of other conditions that also have very good evidence behind it, such as um, chronic hip bursitis or glute tendino tendinitis, tendinopathy is referred to. Um, you have Achilles tendinitis, um, you know, the medial part of the elbow, uh, hip arthritis. Um, so really quite a lot. Um, I personally don't do spine injections, um, but um, really every other joint in theory a uh, patient might be a candidate. The best thing, and really you know if somebody's for sure a candidate when you actually see them, and the only way to know if they're a candidate or not is to perform appropriate evaluation with x-ray and, and or ultrasound and history. So it's not something, I'll put it this way, it's not something that somebody finds out they're a candidate because they go to a seminar.